Hey guys, it's Lincoln. I do not like solo leveling, and here's why. But before I do that, hello, my name is Lincoln. I yap about random shit every single weekday. You can hit that subscribe button to see it because only 0.7% of you are subscribed and that's absolutely fucking ridiculous. Also, here's the channel schedule because I completely forgot. But anyway, let's talk about solo leveling since I opened with a pretty big statement. Yes, I'm not that big of a fan. I read through the whole web novel, manhwa, whatever the hell it's called, and Honestly, it kind of started to drag, and similarly to something like Tokyo Revengers, the ending pretty much ruined it. Now, spoiler alert before I say this, but solo leveling has a time travel ending where he just kind of goes back and like fixes all the bad shit that happened in the entire series, and that's lame as fuck, dude. Now, a lot of people say that solo leveling is overpowered done right. I disagree. People seem to think that overpowered done right is when we get to see the character work for their power, and I guess that could be true, but let me just throw my opinion out there right now. I don't think any kind of overpowered is good. I don't think it's entertaining or anything like that. Sung Jin Woo becomes essentially the most overpowered character in the verse and it's gonna happen sometime like maybe even in season 1. From there he basically curb stomps everyone even when he has trouble you know nothing is going to happen to him because he's the main character and he's also the only person in the entire verse that's even capable of dealing with these threats that they're going against. So you know that if he dies, like, they just lose, straight up. And I don't know, I don't find this to be a very entertaining dynamic. He's just going to curb stomp everyone every single time and that's the way it is. It's fucking boring. It's like Sword Art Online, but like maybe a little bit better. And it only suffers more when it's in comic form because you don't even have some nice animation to look at, but the art is really fucking good. The art is good. I will not discredit the art. This guy can draw a lot better than I can. It's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Really beautiful. Can't believe they did this on a weekly basis. Genuinely. But yeah, ultimately, it's just a power fantasy. I will say, of course, it's always going to be entertaining to watch in the anime because it looks like it's going to be animated really fucking nice. I'm also really glad they didn't um, fall to that whole rumor about like Japanese localization and it does still take place in Korea and all the Korean people have their correct names because I know there was a rumor going around for a little bit that it was going to be like Japanese localized and they were going to change the names of everyone that could have been like the one thing that would have made this adaptation fall short but it didn't happen we also got A1 Pictures, I believe, to animate it, and they're doing an absolutely brilliant job for these first few episodes. I mean, even the dumb little fight with the snake was absolutely fucking insane. That, and they got the man himself, Hiroyuki Sawano, to do the OST, so that's always good. The goat is in the house. That doesn't excuse the story, though. As I said, the story is extremely mediocre. It's very straightforward. Guy becomes overpowered, and he's going to curb stomp everything. That doesn't mean... It's not entertaining to watch, though. Anyway, that's my thoughts about solo leveling. People seem to think it's the next big thing, and honestly, they may be right. It's going to be the next big thing in the way that it's going to make them a fuck ton of money. There's probably going to be a movie at some point, and a lot of people are going to watch it because people, you know, people are kind of brain dead, and they seem to just love brainless power fantasy and watching flashing lights on the screen. And you know what? Honestly, there's nothing wrong with that because every week when an episode comes out, I'm not watching it, but... I'm gonna watch the fight scenes, obviously. In the same way that a lot of us I know probably go back and watch some of the best animated scenes from Attack on Titan, like that one Levi chase, or you know, we watch that one scene from Boruto where Naruto and Sasuke beat the shit out of Momoshiki, or you, you get the point. Anyway, I don't have moist critical level yapping skills, so I don't like to keep you here for too long. Comment down below if you want to see me talk about anything else, subscribe to be shouted out, and drop a like on the video, and did I get everything? Yep, okay, that's all. Love you all, see you next time. Ciao.